think I need to realign my steering wheel. This thing is gonna be fast. I already feel the boost affecting it. Damn. I gotta be very careful. I just got my cold side together and I'm testing it out. Missing a few parts. Sorry, my camera work's gonna be terrible here, but let's see if I can go all the way to the end. See if I can get into like three or four pounds. No, I do not have my wide band hooked up, so I know I gotta be careful. All right, hold on, let me turn around here. Should probably not get on the main road because I don't wanna, um... All right. Ah. anything you can if you can't sorry since this thing makes boost real early let's try it up this hill here uh, here we go man this thing is gonna rock okay after the test drive all this smoke is coming from I've got various pieces of header wrap some of it's coming from over there. My power steering pump. Focus, you feck. Yeah, my power steering pump I need to rebuild. I need to get that back off. It's leaking onto the exhaust. So I'll fix that. Um, I saw on my boost gauge 7 for just a split second. I let off of it because it, once I let off the gas when it hit 7, it, like, it almost stalled and caught. So, you know, this thing isn't tuned for boost at all. So... <laughs> This is a hilarious cold side setup, and I would not recommend it to anybody. Um, I wanted to kind of get this thing expediated and kind of test it out. So for the time being, these are rubber plumbing couplers. Um, I wouldn't recommend them for long-term use or very high boost, but here we are. Um, I was waiting for things on Amazon, including some couplers that didn't arrive, and I'm getting impatient. Now here's iteration one of how I'm holding my intake on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm i going to refine this setup. It's, it's, it's not final like this. You can see through all the steam here, but, but it held it on. Um, I forgot to tighten this clamp before departing and it popped off and because this thing has a mass airflow sensor here now the damn thing didn't even want to run until I got that clamp back on and reestablished the um, flow so it's one thing I'll have to keep in mind but all things considered man I already tell a difference this thing has mountains of torque boost comes on quick like 1500 I'm probably making I could probably make five pounds on 1500 so yeah <laughs> so I'm pretty excited um, obviously this hilarious hood setup won't last I'm gonna figure out something out of metal I'm probably gonna add a fourth stud at the very least um, long term I'll do something completely different with my cold side plumbing including the elimination of the stock hood and you know, an intercooler, obviously. I'm still trying to decide whether to do air-to-air -air or water-to-air. So, success. I didn't think I was going to test drive this today, but I did. So, there you go.